so I'd like you to be right next to me. Um, where do you want to move? No, stay there because the paper's so long that it'll overlap. Good morning, everyone. We're just getting ourselves settled. Yeah. Right. You're comfy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. We're using quite long paper today, so we're having to stagger the way we're working because we don't want to be overlapping. And also, it's quite a messy one. Good morning, everyone. It's quite a messy one today, so make sure you've covered up the table and make sure you are not wearing something special. So if you are currently sitting at the table ready to start and you're wearing your very, very best white t-shirt, go and get changed or go and put a painting shirt on. Hello, I've missed you, Lily. I hope you've had a lovely holiday. So good morning to you all. I hope you have had a lovely Easter holiday. I might have seen some of you yesterday in the primary one to three lesson. And also the lessons were actually running throughout the holidays just because we needed something to do. So I, I did probably see quite a few of you during the holidays. So Abby, for example, good morning. We saw you. Good morning. Hello. So today is a really, really nice and easy creative one. You only need three resources for this you just need a sheet of paper and we've gone for a3 just so it's a nice big size but you can do this with any size of paper that you want yesterday i had a little bit of a play actually i don't know if you can see that in the background with a piece of just corrugated cardboard from the one of my many amazon deliveries that i've been getting i just chopped it up and i did it on that and actually it works really really well on the cardboard um, so you can use any type of paper that you want i've gone for black today just something a bit different um, this is just your normal sugar paper. So any size will do. You need, a, do you want the green paper? There's green paper over there if you want that green paper. Black. You want black? Or do you want the green? Black. Okay, thank you. Right, you'll need quite a lot of cardboard. This gets soggy quite quickly. So if you've got six colours, ideally you want at least six bits of cardboard, one piece per colour. Don't mix and match your cardboard and the colours, otherwise your paint will turn horrible. 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 So disgusting. No, the paint. The paint will turn like a really yucky browny colour. You keep yeah. dipping into all it's the disgusting. different colours. Good morning, Amy. So make sure you have at least one bit of cardboard per colour. And do not, if you're sharing paints with someone else across the table, do not put your cardboard into all the different colours, okay, one bit per colour, sorry. And if the cardboard starts to get soggy, chuck it in the bin. Hi Sam, you couldn't find an A3 piece, so you've taped two pieces of A4 together. See, it's skills like that that just blow me away with you. This is A3. Skills, yes, A3 is two pieces of A4 on their sides together. So you just need to know. Well done, very impressed. Mm -hmm. Right, so you've got your cardboard, you've got your piece of A3, or if you're Sam Jones, you've got two bits of A4 stuck together with a bit of cello tape, or you've got your bit of cardboard. You're not going to mix the paint, you've got a painting shirt on today, you've covered the table, and I think we're about ready to go, and I think that's everyone that is planning on coming and joined us so we can get started. Right, have I missed anything? Um, Probably. We've gone for six colours of the liquid paint. You can use any colours that you want and we are lucky enough to have a six pot palette. Um, also at the end I'm going to show you what you could do with these when you're finished but you don't have to. Now, to save you getting messy today, I want you to work from the top all the way down to the bottom. Don't ever work from the bottom and then try and get up to the top because when you lean on it, you'll get the paint all over your, your clothes. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to show you with one piece of my cardboard what it is that I'm going to do. So up at the top, I'm going to leave a little space up at the top. I'm just going to dip my cardboard into this paint. Alex, could you pay attention and watch please? So that I just get the top of the paint covered in paint. No, I want you to watch just now and I want you to go away and do it because normally you watch, try and do it and then do it wrong. Okay, so from I'm a right-handed person, so I'm going from left to right. If you're a lefty, you're going to go from right to left. So I'm leaving a little space at the top and up at the top of the page, I'm just going to wipe that paint along. Now it starts to run out about halfway through, so go back to the beginning again okay, and okay. scoop up more of the paint and just wipe it along. Try and do it in a nice, slow and controlled way. I'll turn it over. Alex, shushed. Okay, so you end up with that. The blue doesn't work so good on the black, actually. Right, so what I want you to start doing 
is that kind of thing. Now some of my cardboard are thicker than others and also what I'm going to do, just for a little bit of interest, I am going to take some little nicks, little slices out of the cardboard in the bottom. So that will give you two lines for the price of one. Okay, or you can go even one stage further and do it three times if you want. It just makes you then have really, really nice thin lines without the hassle of using really, really thin bits of cardboard. Okay, now as I was saying earlier, this will get quite soggy. So if it starts to get soggy and it starts to bend, chuck it and get another bit. Another thing, I posted a little video yesterday just to say when you cut this, Try and go, I don't know if this is the right technical term for this or not, try and go with the green of the cardboard. So actually have that running so you can actually see the little lines there. That just stops it going soggy. If you have the green going that way, as soon as it gets soggy, it just bends. Okay, so just a wee tip for you. So cut any nooks and crannies out of them that you want to and get going with just dipping your cardboard into the paint, get a nice nice amount, try not to dribble it, okay. a nice amount and then go from whatever your non-dominant hand is, go from that direction across and when the paint runs out stop and go back to the beginning and drag it across. So we're using our cardboard like squeegees, so if you ever wash the windows you might use a squeegee. Mrs C is the printmaking at art school and we used squeegees a lot when we were doing, I think it's screen printing and it was great fun. So that's what this reminds me of. That looks like a lovely with a double nook out of that, isn't it? Yes! Okay. I know, now it's just become one. It looks okay. So going across the page and I'm leaving spaces. Hi, Granny. Granny's going to watch you later. She's obviously away for a cup of tea. So I'm leaving spaces in between, that's really important, don't have them together. If you want to have one or two together, by the way, that might give you, I'm saying don't do it, now I'm saying do it. If you want to have one or two together, that might actually create a blend in the middle, that might actually look quite effective, but try and leave spaces. Now, I should apologise in advance, if you haven't been joining in over the holidays. Um, Mr C, my beloved, is away just now working in the North Sea. So we, I'm a solo parent just now, which means I have got another two little ones floating around so I can hear footsteps already. Harris is in charge of Mirren this morning and they're currently upstairs. I've locked them in a room with some naughty snacks and an iPad and some games. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> so we might get an interruption, so apologies if that happens. And yesterday, we actually had an interruption from the cat who's now locked in the utility room. So fingers crossed that's not <gasps> No, I Do not let him out. Don't ask. Harris, what is it? No, go away. <laughs> we need to... Oh, what <laughs> okay, so oh, you're getting on okay with this. He had his chance to get juice at the beginning. <laughs> and in fact, if you watched yesterday, Harris threw a wobbler in the middle because things didn't go the way that he wanted them to go. And he actually did finish his art yesterday, yeah, so... Um, great, great. And now he wants to take part. That's just typical. Right, so we're nearly at the bottom now. I'll just show you how this is coming along. I hope yours is looking great too. Looks a wee bit patchy at the minute because it's wet. Um, what colour we're not using? I'm not using red. Is your cardboard starting to go soggy yet? No, it's just bendy. That means it's going soggy then. So if it's starting to get... It's already bent there. If it's starting to bend and get rid of it, I've cut up loads of it, okay? So the red doesn't work very well on the black, does it? Yeah. No. Actually, this is oh, um, showing me that the black's not actually a great choice to do. Right, so, I've pretty much gone to the bottom, I think, because I don't like that red. I'm actually going to try that thing that I suggested a second ago, where you blend some colours together. Let's see how this goes. This could go crazy. This could go wrong. Oh, actually. Oh, it looks like a flag. What flag does that look like? Um, a flag. Can you think of a country? Mm. No. No? Yeah, Let's think of a country there with the red, the white and the blue. Job is not obviously Alex's strong point. Right, the great thing is I've got Alex here with me so it's brilliant because I can see roughly who your people will be at home and I can see at the minute that he's on his third strike which makes me assume 
that the rest of you are at that stage as well. So I'm just going to give you a few minutes just to finish off these stripes and then we're going to talk yes. about the patterns. Hurry up please, we're all waiting on you. Um, um, right, so next up we're going to start adding some patterns and some lines on top of our stripy design. Now, one thing that I will say at step two is be very, very careful. Okay. Your paint from your stripes will still be quite wet. And obviously, if you start plonking patterns on top of the wet paint, it's going to mix. It's not going to stand out. So for step two, if I was you, I would stick in the spaces in between your stripe lines, just until the lines themselves are dry. So stick in between those. And you're done now with sliding, you're done now with um, smearing the paint along, with doing that squeegee effect, you're now going to be using the cardboard in a different way, you're going to be using it for stamping. Okay, Alex, that's way too salty going, I think. It's bent. Okay, so what we're going to do, if there are any soggy bits of cardboard, get rid of them, we've got loads of this stuff kicking about, or use the other side of it. Sideways. Or use the other side of it. Right, so what I'm just going to start speaking to boys and girls because we just you crack on with that, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're just going to place the cardboard down. Now, think about the directions that you want to do this, think about where you want to do this, and think about all the different things you can do. I'm going to show you just some different techniques, so just watch for a few seconds the techniques, and then I'll let you go away and try it. Okay, so I'm just going to do a line now, just by stamping the cardboard down. Now, obviously, the paint, Will disappear onto your paper. So you'll need to replace this when it starts to happen. Okay, so we've got, I'll show it so you can see, that line going in between the blue and the yellow. Looks quite nice. So at the minute I'm just, I'm wary of the fact that my lines are wet, so I'm just sticking in the spaces that I've got left. That blue's gone really, really soggy. Down. Did you cut that? That looks nice. I'm going to borrow it. So he's cut that himself. So I'm just going to show you what that'll look like. Oh, it looks almost like a stitched line. That can look quite nice, the blue. On there. The silver is not great. I was hoping the silver would look really psychedelic, but it's not confirmed. Yeah. Yeah. You're laughing at me. Do people still say the word psychedelic? Okay. Well, that's nice actually. So it gives you this kind of painted effect without a brush. Okay? Right. So that's what the sort of effect you can get just by stamping down. And don't forget, you can have zigzaggy lines, you can cross over, you could go diagonally, you could do lots of them. You could even do like a pattern. So you could go green, green, green. White, white, white. So I know that RDM this week, their main focus has been music. So you could think about this like a pattern, like repetition. So you could do green, 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 white, white, white. No, I'm not a Celtic fan for anybody asks. That's just been complete chance. Yeah. Not that happened. That's not a Celtic fan. No. That's definitely not a Celtic fan. There we go, so that can look quite effective. I don't know if Gary's still with us. He's going to give you a bit of a row for that in a second. Gary was watching a second ago. He'll remind you who Daddy supports. Does Daddy still support them? I'm not sure if Daddy still supports them this season. Right, so you can do crosses. So at the minute, I'm very, very much just dabbing the cardboard down. It's giving me pretty much the same effect all the time. But think about the direction you go. Don't always just do the same thing again and again and again. So we've got crosses going on there. You can even, with a nice sharp bit of cardboard, you could just use the corner of it to get a nice dot. I'm just going to use this. Yeah. 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 Okay. Were you watching what to do with the dabbing? No. No, because you were busy doing your stripes, so that's fine. Okay, so you can just use the corner of the cardboard itself. That give you a nice dotty, dotty effect. Right, so I've pretty much shown you the same thing quite a few times there. So now what I'm going to show you is something different to the cardboard. Now you'll need a nice, a nice straight bit of cardboard for this to get started. And what you're actually doing is you're twisting it. Now you can twist it fully, 
fully with a 360 degree and that'll give you a full circle or you can just twist it 180 and that'll give you this sort of effect which can look quite effective so what you do is you dip the cardboard oh and at this point be careful with the colors that you're choosing if i've got a silver stripe here don't use you know use your noggin a bit don't now cover it in silver patterns because they won't show up that's lovely really nice i like the thin one in the middle right i'm just gonna yeah so i want you just to watch this circle thing for one more time okay so what you do is you just place it down I find it easier to place it vertically Ooh. and then I just turn the cardboard. Cool. Okay, now be careful when you lift it up because you might dribble a little bit. So you get that. I'll show you that one more time. Yes. Now if you go fully... I like the silver. You like the silver? I thought you like the silver. If you do it fully, you like it with a full circle. So I'm just turning it to get two quarters. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, now if you do it fully, as I say, you'll get a full circle. So I'll just do it one more time because you know I like my, yeah, I like things to be so. That will, that will annoy me if I don't get it finished on time. Okay, so if you do it fully, have you got one that's not so soggy? Let's go with that one. Actually, so that's got the colour of red. It's really, really, really dirty. What would work well on that green red? That's down the hole. So if you do it fully, you end up with a full circle. Now it might need to be that you use both your hands for this, or you twist the paper around. Okay, so you get a full circle there. Oh, that's not cool. This looks horrible. That's lovely. This is a tricky lesson if you are a bit of a perfectionist, because things sometimes it's a very experimental lesson. You don't always know how things are going to go. Um, and you'll always end up with different results every time. And yesterday when I was even in the middle of doing my demonstration, the cat came in and then walked over it and I ended up with a little paw prints all over everything. And I had to paint on top of it. So be prepared at this point, I would say, because things might not turn out the way you want them to go. But have fun with it. Art's not always about the end result. Sometimes it's about the process and just what you learn along the way. It's not always, it's not always fantastic and sometimes those projects end up being the best ones the ones where you don't have a desired effect remember you can use the other side of the cardboard as well no you cannot choose your finger because then you'll ask to go out the room and we'll end up painting over the walls Okay, think. Right, are you going to start adding more patches to this? Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Okay, so we're coming together now. It's looking quite nice, quite nice so far. I'm just going to do a few more and then I'm going to speak to you about what to do for finishing off. Uh, as per usual, boys and girls, I will post this after we are finished today. So if you haven't been doing it live, because you've got other things to do, we've got a lot to do today. Um, you can catch up with it later on and please 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 just remember to send me your finished photos I love seeing what things look like and it helps me as well because sometimes I see things that I haven't thought of and I think ah I could try that next time okay so please make sure you send me those when you're finished um, and yeah and also give me some suggestions of things that you would like to do I'm assuming well you know already we're doing that next week I'm assuming that we are going to have to go with this for a good couple of weeks now. Another two weeks at least. We will not be in school. So give me some suggestions of things that you would like to do. And give me some feedback as well. Is everything okay so far? Is the position of the table okay? Am I talking okay? Is my accent too strong? <laughs> Which I've had already. Um, um, what else could I say? Am I using the right materials? Am I using too many things that you maybe don't have at home? Is there something that I've not tried yet that you would like me to try? Is there anything that you're struggling with? I think we need to, basically we do need to attack some simple drawing. We've got tiny drawing yet. And Alex has been nipping, nip, nip, nipping at me about doing space. So I've given in. Next week we'll be doing a chalk space landscape. So if you want to, if space is your thing, then please feel free to join us. The wee ones, we're going to start looking at some artists next week. Yeah, get into them. We're going to start looking at some artists next week. We haven't really done any artist recognition yet. 
So we're going to look at an old classic. We're going to look at Mondrian next week, which we did quite a lot of times. One, two, three. Oh, you can take part as well if you want. I don't think you should be saying to me right now, who's that? I think you should know who Mondrian is. Have you not done a Mondrian lesson with Mrs. Hardy? No. Messy touch later. I know you've done Picasso. Right, um, one thing I've just spotted Alex doing is he keeps sort of getting the cardboard and he, he's using it like you would do with a paintbrush. You're trying to get away from that. Mm. We're actually printing. So printing is just when you pat the whatever it is you're doing down once and then lift it. You should not be making a mess of it all. Um, try and keep your lines a bit more definite. And try and fill every space that you've got actually. Don't just do a few lines for me and then say, no, I'm done. If you've got a space, I've got a space crying out for something here. So make sure that you do every single space and that way, when you're finished, it can look really effective. And don't be scared also to put colours on top of your wet paint or um, add more patterns on top of it. So for example, in the middle of these. I do. I'm just going to do that. And maybe in the middle of my circle there. Do this. I'm just playing around now. I should really, really be going away and getting some work done, shouldn't I? Are you just doing Another thing that I like to do is in a blob of wet paint like that, but something that's dry, drag it through. I'll do that. There's me telling Alex not to drag things and then I'm going to do it, but it gives a really, really nice effect. Okay. Oh, I promised you that I would tell you what you can do when you're finished with these. So, when you finish with them, there's a few options that you can do. I mean, I think they look fine as they are, and they're brilliant. You could use them as gift wrap, you could use them as a border for writing work or anything in the classroom. But one thing that I did last year with primary six when we did these, we they were doing Africa for their topic. So I the colours that we chose were very, very, very earthy. So they were tertiary colours. Lots of browns, golds, you know, whites, blacks, all the colours that you would expect to see natural colours. So we used those colours and then what we did, we turned them into wall hangings. So we just got some twigs or sticks. Okay, and with good quality glue, we glued one along the top and the bottom. But before we did that, we added lots of wool and string and we had, you know, on the bottom, we had lots of string hanging down. And then on the top one, we just had the string attached to hang it. And then we stuck them at the top and the bottom with some really, really good quality glue. So we use Marvin medium in school, but when you're out of school, you might have super glue lying in the house or something quite strong and leave it. And they create really, really nice wall hangings. Another thing that I've seen, I've not done it myself, but I have seen it where you use a hole punch along the bottom and you put holes in it and then you can tie the string through the holes. The, the paper might rip, that's the one thing that I would say. So maybe stick with the thick cardboard for doing something like that. But, and also, when you choose your rule or your string, try and think about the colours that you have on your paper. You don't have to, but it would look, then it would actually look like it's been woven. Okay? So, Alex is finished. I think. No, no he's not. He's not, but I'll show you a progress report. And then I'm going to sign off for the day. I'll, I'll photograph the finished one. Okay, so Alex is doing quite well with that. So, we'll photograph the finished one and I'll go away and play a little bit more on top of this. I'm going to turn off for just now because that has taken nearly half an hour and time to clean up and stuff. So that's nice, nearly hitting nice, the 50 minute mark, nice. which is what the normal art lesson lasts. So lots of love to you all. Thank you so, so much for taking part. I feel a bit, I feel like I've forgotten stuff to do. Okay, well, lots of love to you all. Post me the photos afterwards. And thank you for all your support as per usual. You're fantastic. Have a lovely Tuesday and speak to you soon.